Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jerdman. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing a beginner's guide to weight loss. Episode one and two have been posted up here somewhere. If you go back and have a look, I've got a couple of interviews with, uh, I did one with Manshake, and I had a TV spot with a current affair for weight loss at the start of the year, which was pretty crazy. So if you haven't seen those, I suggest to go back and have a look at those before we jump in here. So what are we doing uh, on this week's episode? We are doing uh, routine, getting started, and all that sort of stuff. So, what do you do when you want to, when you know you want to get healthy and you want to try and change your life? Well, for me, the first uh, when I started, I just started eating healthy for the first two weeks. I knew I needed to change. I was 170 kilos, and knew something needed to happen. So, I started eating healthy for the first two weeks, and then by some miracle, a uh, temporary security guard at work mentioned that he'd lost 14 kilos on a man shake. Now, up to this point, I'd never heard of the man shake, had no idea about it or anything. So luckily for me, he mentioned it and I knew that, okay, well, we'll give it a try. Why not? He's lost 14 kilos. No reason I can't. So I went to Coles the next day and bought the sample pack, $36. You get the 10 shakes and you get to try a lot of the flavors, which I suggest doing because some flavors you'll like, some flavors you won't. I'll be perfectly honest. There's, I love the coffee shake. Some people hate the coffee shake. But it's all preference. So there's a lot of flavors out there and you can mix and match and there's lots of fle flexibility with this. So feel free to experiment. What I do is I add uh, 500 mils of water to my shakes. I find I get the right consistency that I like. It's got to be drinkable for me. So I would just add as much water or as little water as you want. It's got to be maintainable. So you don't want to be drinking some shake that you don't like the consistency of. So just follow your gut with it. So... So I'd go to Coles and get the sample pack. Now with the man shake, you get all this goodness in one week. You can read all the stats there. They're all up there on the screen. So you're getting more than enough of what you need for the week. It's amazing. You're getting a lot more than you used to get on all that KFC and Maccas. That is for sure. So one of the main things when you're trying to get healthy and everything is drink a lot of water. It helps you. It helps um, satisfy your appetite as well. If you're feeling hungry, have a couple of glasses of water. It makes all the difference. 20 minutes, you don't really feel as hungry anymore. So, what routine have I been doing? Let's let's find my routine. My routine looks like this. So, I've got the 10 a.m. shake. I do the 12 snack. I do the two shake. I do the four snack, and I do the 6:30 dinner. So while I'm on the shakes in my healthy lifestyle, I intermittent fast as well. So basically, before 10 a.m., I don't really have any calories, and after dinner, I don't really have any calories. There's room in the plan to have dessert. I've just never bothered with the dessert. I've had enough desserts. So I thought it was extra calories. So uh, now I've sort of got goal weight. I'm uh, having desserts and enjoying it a bit. You can get some nice uh, high, protein, uh, high protein ice creams. I'll chat about those in my snack special, which is coming up. Um, yeah, so that's the routine. I keep it simple. You've got to keep it basic. Like you don't need all the you don't need you don't want to be sitting there and and overcomplicating everything. Like you don't need to overcomplicate everything. Like you don't need to hmm hmm yeah. You don't need to do all that. You've got to keep it simple. Get yourself on rails. Take all the decisions away. Just do these things. Just take all the decisions away. All the Leaving you up to your own decisions is what's probably got us all in this mess to begin with. So get yourself on rails, have your shake, have your snack, have your shake, have your snack and have your dinner. And then that's it. So I'm going to go more into uh, what I've been drinking as well on the man shakes and uh, snacks and dinners and all that in later episodes. So the main thing is when you want to get your start, I recommend, you're not going to want to do it, but I recommend... You're taking some shirtless photos, even pantless photos. Take some photos in your undies. Go in your bathroom by yourself. Take some photos in your undies. Uh, front on and side on. I didn't do that, and I regret not doing that because you don't think it's going to work. Like you think, uh, like I just started it thinking, oh, well, I'll start it and see what happens. But then I regret that now because I've got photos to go off, but they're not like the shirtless photos that I would like to have you never think that you'd want shirtless photos, but I'd love to have some of those now. So I've got these before and afters, which is still nice to look back at, but 
assume it's going to work. Assume this is your time. So, you know, at, ooh, ooh, then well, there's, there's one shirtless photo, but anyway. Um, assume this is going to work and this is your time to do it. So go out, take those photos. Look at that guy. That was, that was on top of my size. That's crazy. Um, and get yourself on the scales. Weigh yourself. You're not going to want to weigh yourself. No one wants to weigh themselves. Weigh yourself. I didn't weigh myself for the first three weeks and I regret it. Because when I weighed myself after three weeks, I was 165. So I've added five kilos on for the first three weeks. In reality, I was probably another 10 kilos heavier. So I was probably closer to 175 when I started than the 170 that I say I started at. So weigh yourself. Buy yourself some scales. Amazon, I've got some Bluetooth scales on Amazon, which are really good. They go up to 180 kilos. So, and you get a whole bunch of different stats on your body. So I'll, I'll do an episode on my uh, scales and my uh, watch and all that stuff and all the health trackers that I use. I'll do that in a later episode. So uh, weigh yourself and take photos. This is gonna work, this is your time, you can do this. So that's basically it for this episode. Uh, when we come back, I'll go into my actual day. What do I drink? What do I snack on? Uh, how do we go about it? Routine. So we'll come back with that one next week. And that's it for this episode. Please like, share and subscribe to anyone that you think may be interested or anyone that you think this could help. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a great day. Bye.